Well, even though the Browns don't own the top overall pick, Cleveland is still buzzing with anticipation for the upcoming NFL draft. It all officially kicks off tomorrow. We've seen many fans out and about exploring our downtown this week. So naturally, our Mike Polk Jr. wanted to welcome them to our great city in the way that only he can. Appropriately, he used a little football trivia. Well, we are in the throes of NFL Draft Week here in Cleveland. It's very exciting. Um, I am acting as a Cleveland ambassador, unofficial. Just printed this out at home myself. But I just want us to put our best foot forward as a city for people. So I'm located right here by these big football helmets representing every team, which is neat. But all they are is just helmets. I thought I'd try to add to the experience for these folks by just giving them some information about the different teams. Amongst the list of minority owners for the Dolphins are Jennifer Lopez, Gloria Estefan, and Emilio Estevez. I want the experience for people who are in visiting from out of town to be great, and I want them to feel like Cleveland was welcoming and helpful. Did you guys know that Carl Weathers played for the Raiders in the early 1970s? I want people to leave here having said everybody in Cleveland was so cool and helpful. What a great time. Let's go back and spend money there again sometime. That's my goal. Jim Brown was invited to play in every Pro Bowl every year he ever played. I think that deserves some applause. Right? All right, never mind. This is kind of what it's all about, not only being downtown, but learning more about football. The 1932 Chicago Bears gave up a total of two points in their first four games. Pretty good, right, guys? Yes. Yeah. The Detroit Lions are one of two teams to go 0-16 in NFL history. The other one is the Cleveland Browns. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not happy about it. That's the thing. Every one of these franchises has their own interesting history and fun trivia facts, except Jacksonville. There's nothing interesting about the Jacksonville Jaguars. The 1991 Falcons chose MC Hammer's Too Legit to Quit as their pump-up song. Hey, hey, you remember it, see? You can see why they would be excited about it. Not everybody is interested in hearing my trivia facts, I found, but you're gonna have some of that. Hold on, I'll tell you some trivia about the Eagles if you wait. All right, well, all right I guess we'll just... Ideally, we want these people to come back. We want them to say, wow, that was a great experience in Cleveland. Not only did I have a nice time, but I got to see a bunch of helmets. A guy told me some facts about the Colts. There we go, brownies, here we go. There we go, brownies, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We just need to be as welcoming as possible to these people while they're here because Frankly, we need their money. I have some interesting trivia about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were the first team to introduce cheerleaders in 1961. It lasted until 1969 when they realized that they couldn't find six attractive women in Pittsburgh anymore. Hope you're enjoying Draft Week, everybody. This is Mike representing my city, whether they want me to or not, for 3 News.